A huge sense of relief in Davis tonight after a week of living in fear. Tonight we're learning new details about the Davis serial stabbing suspect just hours after the 21-year-old's arrest. A murderer is off the streets. And our families will sleep easier tonight. Now, investigators searching for evidence, trying to learn more about the former UC Davis student allegedly responsible for taking two lives. Thanks for joining us on this busy news night. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Marley Ginter. The suspect has been identified as Carlos Dominguez. He was a student at UC Davis until two days before the first attack happened. He was then detained yesterday near Sycamore Park after police received several tips from the community. We have team coverage tonight. Our crew is tracking the investigation and how the community is reacting. Acting tonight. We want to start with CBS 13, Steve Large, live in Davis, where that investigation stands right now. Steve. And just in the past hour, law enforcement has cleared this scene here. This is where they've been serving a search warrant all day long. So this is our first opportunity to get an up close look at this home. All is quiet right now, but this is where police say this uh, suspect had been carrying out his brutal attacks while he'd been living here. Uh, and as I said, all day long, it had been a very busy scene. FBI agents searched through the night, combing through evidence inside the Davis home of suspected serial killer Carlos Dominguez. The quiet residential street taped off for hours following his arrest. UC Davis confirms Dominguez had just failed out of school last week, only two days before his alleged deadly stabbing attacks began. Dominguez had been a biological sciences major. This person could have been sitting next to me or even next to one of my friends. Most of my friends are also in the College of Biological Sciences, and I care about them deeply. Jude Farhat is a biological sciences major, wondering if Dominguez could have been caught sooner. I really want to know, like, for example, he had roommates that, that was announced in the press conference. Did they know anything? Did they speak up? Were they students? Were they also in the College of Biological Sciences? Did I know the roommates? Did they know what... Um, Carlos was doing. In high school, Dominguez was pictured and profiled in this Oakland Unified School District mentoring in medicine and science program. He said he aspired to be a doctor. Now, this suspect, who once wanted to help give people life, is accused of taking two lives and leaving this Davis community on edge. And one more live look at the front door where police say Dominguez had been living. Uh, he transferred to UC Davis from Laney Community College back in 2020. By the way, I did have the opportunity to request a jailhouse interview with him earlier today, and a deputy said that he is not accepting any interview requests at this point. So, as I said, uh, law enforcement just clearing the scene here in the past hour. So, I have now had the opportunity to, to talk to people who have lived around him uh, and uh, we're going to share some of that with you coming up at 10 30. All right we'll look for you then Steve. In the meantime we'll be looking for what they found inside that house. Thank you for that live report.